everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today's video is packed with ideas for one of the most common niches in print and a man as well as in some of the land of the printables, which is the funny niche. However, funny might not be a niche of itself. I mean, you have super funny designs in the mom niche, you have creative and funny designs in any kind of practice niche, like being a CPA or being a lawyer, being a student, being a nurse, being all kinds of that. But what I'm talking about today, the funny niche that I'm talking about today is puns. And I do love puns. I don't know if you remember my design tutorial about how to take a graphic element from Creative Fabrica and use it to sell on Redbubble, that I basically took an owl and wrote, I will always love you. I will always love you in some of its forms, in any of its forms, was sold in my Redbubble shop. I used to sell it when I was selling printable greeting cards on Etsy. And it's one of my favorite designs and it sold really well, you know, because it's funny. And people like these funny, quirky puns and you can make a pun with animals, you can make a pun with fruit, that's also going to be on today's video, and you can make a pun with pretty much anything, whether you're using the name of the animal or you're using the activity of the animal, the, the sound the animal makes, it's just super, super fun. What I have for you today is, well, a lot of different pun ideas with animals and fruits that you could use for your print and demand, Redbubble, Society6, Fine Art America, TGFT Public, Merch by Amazon stores, Shopify store, or if you're selling print on a man on Etsy. A lot of these designs would also look pretty, pretty dope on a card, which means they are great for either physical cards or printable cards on Etsy or on Payhip. And you can also use a lot of them as fun stickers or even as printable sticker sheets. It's all about your creativity, the graphic tools and the fonts that you have to use whether you're making your graphics yourself or purchasing them from Creative Fabrica or using graphics from Canva Pro, it's all up to how creative you are in this amazing pun journey. A lot of these designs are also scalable, which means that you can change one word or change a graphic element to create a whole new design and basically scale it up, creating so many different designs from one design concept. Even though some of these designs might be scalable, and I'm gonna talk about which design is scalable when I'm gonna show the designs, there is a full, full, full scalable design ideas video coming up at the 26th. But before we get started sharing these cool ideas with you guys, two small announcements. For those of you who are watching this video as a live premiere, welcome! I love making these live premieres and we also get this cool live chat in the corner here so you can ask me questions in real time or let me know what you thought about my designs. The reason why I'm able to chat with you guys during these live premieres is because a live premiere is not a live YouTube video. A live premiere is a YouTube feature that allows creators like myself to upload a pre-recorded, pre-edited video onto YouTube and for the very first time it's being watched, we get to watch it together together and have this live chat in the corner and after the live premiere is ending it just you know an ordinary boring video <laughs> if you want to make sure not to miss out on live premieres you can always check out my instagram story at made.oyo or check out our facebook group the link is in the description down below to make sure you never miss out on live premiere fun the second announcement is about shop review videos we have one coming up tomorrow i'm not going to tell you which platform it's going to be about, but I am going to tell you that you can submit any kind of shop, Society6, Redbubble, Fine Art America, T-Chip, T-Public, T-Spring, Shopify, Etsy, pretty much wherever you're selling print on demand or digital download printable items. And you know what? Enough announcements. Let's just get started with today's animals and fruit pun design ideas for your Redbubble, Society6, any kind of print on demand or printable store. One of my favorite animals for animal puns is the owl because, you know, I will always <laughs> love you, is one of my favorite designs. And I did make this design a long time ago. It has sold several times on Redbubble so far. I haven't checked how much. I just keep seeing it in the email messages. And it's one of my favorite designs. The owl is from Creative Fabrica. I made this design using Canva. And in case you forgot, the All Access Pass membership for Creative Fabrica to have print on demand allowed graphic designs and fonts is pretty much $29 a month, which is a bargain since you can just download how many items that you want. However, if you want to have a better bargain, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description because there is a 30% lifetime discount for anyone coming to Creative Fabrica from this channel. I also used another Creative Fabrica owl to create Always Grumpy, and I love that design. 
it just makes me laugh every single time. And I do believe that with this design, you know, it's all up to you and what you put it on and how you place it on and the mock-ups that you choose. I mean, come on, just find the most grumpiest person and put this on a t-shirt that they're wearing and it's just selling itself. Another design that I made is Always Happy and I made it using Canva. Yes, the owl is a free element from Canva. And this little cute guy over here is actually from Placeit. So you can go ahead and check out Placeit. There is a link down below in the description to a full review over the Placeit platform, which I am using not just for mockups, but also for designs. And we'll be talking about that actually in quite a few minutes. The always idea is super funny. You can make so many designs from it. Like, I'm always missing you. Um, I always think you're beautiful. Any kind of design you can think about with the word always and just put an owl there with a face that sort of talks about what the design is about. One of my other favorite animals, because it's super trending, super cool, and super cute, is the llama. And a lot of people have been using llama as a pan for ama, like I'm gonna. And I made this design that says llama stay zen with a llama doing yoga or meditation that I found on Creative Fabrica. You can also use the word llama to say llama always love you or llama need some time alone or stuff like that. But one of my other favorite puns with llama is the no problema, which is super, super cool. And I actually made the entire design using Playset. Moving on to a different animal, which is the dog. And not just the dog. This dog is a doctor. <laughs> and I made this cool design that basically says that whenever I'm feeling bad, I go to visit my doctor. And what I like about this design is that it's totally scalable because you could pretty much take this dog design, this dog graphics, and change it to any type of dog breed because a lot of people might want to have the dog breed of their dog, of their pet. And I actually got this dog, this cute little dog graphics from Creative Fabrica from a huge dog bundle with over 20 different dog graphics. Oh, and the mock-up is from Placeit too. Another design that I wrote down is for cow lovers and it's super, super cute. It just basically says, muchas gracias. And I love this design idea. I found this cute little cow graphics on Creative Fabrica made the design using Canva and uploaded it onto my Redbubble store. And it was quite tricky at the beginning because, you know, you have the cow and the cow is like white and black, which are the dominant colors in most of the t-shirts and most of the designs. So I kind of like that I played around with it and put it on a pink background. I actually made this design into a pattern as well and used multiple different background colors for it, like blue or green or all kinds of that, just to make different muchas gracias ideas. It's a cute, cute design that is available on pretty much any product in my store. However, I do recommend having it on, you know, a sticker as well as a greeting card because that is most likely what people will be using it for. Another cute animal people often forget about is the elephant. And you know what? What you think about this design is irrelevant because I really do love this pun joke about what you think about me is irrelevant. And it's not just that I like this design, that I found this graphics on Canva for free. It's also that I absolutely adore the placid model that I found to have it on. She really does look like she doesn't care. <laughs> it's totally irrelevant what you think about her. She looks the part perfectly. Moving on to the last animal on our puns list, and don't worry, there are fruits coming up after this animal, is the bee. And yes, you can be happy. You are beautiful. And all of the bee things that I'm trying to avoid, because my name is Maya. Like, my first name is Maya, so my full name is Maya May, but I go by May. And every time someone sees me, like, oh, your name's Maya. Yeah, Maya the bee, Maya the bee. So... I can't believe I just said it on YouTube. It's going to get stuck here forever. Anyway, we're got, never mind that. My name is May. <laughs> and this cute design is just simply saying, be happy. <laughs> I found this cute little bee on Canva and I used a placeit mock-up for it, just like I did with our next bee design of, I think you're beautiful, where I found this cute little bee on Canva and used a mock-up from Placeit. I do need to upload it to my Redbubble store though. It is a good, good design. It's also a good design for greeting cards, for printable greeting cards, for printable stickers, for any kind of printable item, not just print on demand. But yeah, as print on demand. Add some hearts into it. You have a Valentine, add a Santa hat on the bee, you have a Christmas design. Because I think you're beautiful or giving out these compliments or saying be happy. It's just, 
it's a forever thing. It's one of those evergreen designs that just always are in season, are always funny, and are always lovely. I'm feeling good today. What do you guys think? And it's not just that I'm feeling good, I'm peeling good because we're moving on to the next pun ideas with fruits and with this cool banana that is peeling good. One of my favorite, favorite puns. And it just looks so cool on this active t-shirt man that Redbubble has. And I love it. I made this design on Canva, but the font is from Creative Fabrica. The font is actually from the tutorial we had a few days ago about taking Creative Fabrica fonts placing them onto Canva and creating beautiful t-shirt designs. So you can go ahead and check out that video for more information about using this font and other cool fonts that I found on Creative Fabrica. Moving on to day seizing, or as we like to say in the pun game, day squeezing, with this design saying squeeze the day using the exact same font, but a different Canva free graphics. And I do love this design. Squeeze the day is going to be one of my main, main puns in the next few days. I feel like I'm going to get stuck with it in my head and not in a good way. I'm going to annoy so many people with this pun constantly. By the way, this design of squeeze the day that I make, you can also change it to a lemon and change the upper color into yellow and just make it squeeze the day with a lemon. You don't have to have it with an orange. You can also have it with a grapefruit or any other thing that gets squeezed to seize your day. Another design that I like and I made using Canva free graphics as well as the same Creative Fabrica font is thank you very much. And I use this place at mock-up for it because it's just super cute. And just like I said about the squeezing where you can have an orange, a lemon or a grapefruit, when we're talking about thank you very much, you can have wild berries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, or even a mix of all of them. But I do like this kawaii style because people are searching for kawaii cool stuff, kawaii fruit, kawaii berries, kawaii strawberries. So some people are searching for the pun ideas. Some people are searching for, you know, just the specific fruit and will buy it because it's funny. So when you're writing your tags for these things, you always have to keep in mind that some people are looking for kawaii strawberries, kawaii berries. Some people are looking for happy berries. Some people are looking for funny puns. So make sure to put it all on your tags. Moving on to our last design for today, which is a design that I know Four people who watch this channel have it in their shops, which is your one in a melon. And I found it on so many Redbubble shops. It's insane. And also flooding Etsy. It's one of my favorite designs and a new addition to my own Redbubble store using free graphics from Canva. And again, the same creative Fabrica font that I'm totally abusing. It's, I, I, I just love this font. I really do love this font and it's just super, super cool. What do you guys think? Did you like your one in a melon design? Because I do think it's quite nice. And again, it could work with also a melon, not just a watermelon. It could also work for Valentine's Day and any kind of anniversary design that you might have as a printable or as a print-on-demand item. And that is it with the design ideas that I have for you for today. I would love it if you're in the live premiere, in the live chat, you can tell me which design was your favorite. And if you're not watching this video as a live premiere, you can always do that in the comment section below. I would also love to know if you like this concept of just sharing different ideas with you guys, like multiple, multiple ideas, because we had like 16 or 17 different ideas throughout this video. Or if you prefer video tutorials where I take one idea and make the full design from start to finish, please let me know in the comment section below which one do you prefer. I don't mind doing either. I just can't do, you know, 16 designs and design with me the entire way. But I really do want you to get the best value that you can. And I really do feel that we're going towards the point where I want to make another sort of like pattern design tutorial for Redbubble, let me know if that is something that is interesting to you. If you like this video or found it useful, please hit that like button down below because every time you do, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video. I'm going to show it to more people. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. I will be seeing you tomorrow for another shop review video. And actually, I will be seeing you every day this month with cool and interesting content. There is a link down below to an Instagram post where I posted the entire month's schedule. But let me just give you a preview of the next few days. And I need my notebook for that. My Van Gogh notebook. So tomorrow we're doing shop reviews and you already knew that. But the day after that, on June 10th, we're having the video that I think most of you have been waiting for, which is how to use Pinterest to promote digital download or printable items business, whether it's on Etsy 
Payhip, or Shopify. We're going to be talking about how to pin from the store that you're having, how to manually create pins and upload them, as well as the Pinterest algorithm and how to use it in the right way to make sure that Pinterest's like your profile. On Friday, June 11th, we're going to be talking about the Etsy affiliate program, which is an affiliate program that I have been using since 2000 and I would like to say 14, but I think it was even before that. It's one of the affiliate videos that we have this month and I'm really looking forward to it because Etsy affiliate program has given me so much and it's just one of the best ways that I have for making money online, even though I have totally forsaken my women's shopping blog in the past six months since I started YouTube. Oh my God, it's almost six months, guys. It's almost six months. And the day after that, on Saturday the 12th, we're going to be going over different platforms and sharing information about where they get their traffic from, how much traffic they have, and what does that mean for you. Platforms like Redbubble, Society6, Etsy, T-Cheap, T-Public, and all that, we're going to be reviewing just how much traffic they get per month and where is that traffic coming from and what does it mean to you if you want to start selling on that platform. And we're going to wrap this week up on Sunday, June 13th with a special video about how I made my new link tree in my Instagram bio because I'm not using link tree. I actually use WordPress and I created my own link page and it took me pretty much 15 minutes or actually even less. So we're going to have a tutorial, a hands-on tutorial with my screen step-by-step -step on how to do that so you guys can have a beautiful link in bio just the way you like it. And with that being said, that is it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed these pun ideas for animal puns and fruit puns. I do know that I enjoyed making them and it was like the only time this month that I had to work on my Redbubble store. So thank you for those of you who requested this video. You got me to work on my own Redbubble store for the first time in a very very long time. If you've seen any of my videos, you pretty much know what I'm about to say right now because the live chat is going to go away in three, two, one, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye!